Good evening. Thank you for joining me on Happy Wife Gaming Life. This is the Happy Wife speaking, and are you ready to start our gaming life? I really do want to give you a very special thank you for joining me on not only the first episode of the Stardew Valley series, but also for the first video of my channel. So I chose to do Stardew Valley because it has a lot of creative elements and it's very relaxing and most of all it's a very beloved game now, which I think goes well with the theme that I want to have for this channel. So I did play Stardew Valley before about two years ago. I didn't finish the game so I'm really excited to be playing it again with you guys and to be rediscovering it. Um, as you can see, I do have version 1.3 loaded because it is 2018 and I have the co-op option here, but we won't be using it. So I think without further ado, let's just get started. So of course we will choose a new file. We are going to have a female farmer. Now I know a lot of players like to create a version of themselves or name the character after themselves, but I was thinking that instead of doing that, I would instead make like um, an idea of what my perhaps potential future daughter could look like someday. So for her name, I was thinking of going with one of my favorite f names for girls, which is Amelia. But I actually really like the nickname Emmy for Amelia, so we're gonna go with that. And I do kind of want this character to have like some element of her would-be future Chinese heritage since my husband is Chinese. So I'm gonna go with the name Wu. So everybody will call her Emmy Wu. I think it's very cute. Okay, for the name of the farm, we're gonna go with Happy Wife. Hmm, gaming life? Nah, it doesn't fit, right? So let's do... Hmm... H... W... G... L. Happy Wife Gaming Life Farm. And favorite thing... I mean, I could put my own favorite thing here, or I could make one up for Emmy. Hmm... I think for fun, let's just go with chocolate, <laughs> some kind of food item. So our first choice is going to be, will we have a cat or a dog? And I personally am more of a dog person. I like cats, but I really, really love dogs and I had dogs almost all my life. So we will go for a dog for Emmy. Now, before playing, I did kind of already play around with the options to decide what kind of appearance I would like for Emmy to have. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in now. So let's see if we can get over to the left side. There we go, skin. So I think skin tone number three is a good balance between what would be my husband and mine skin tone, I guess, since she's supposed to be our future daughter. Um, for the hair, I'm going to start with hair number 18. I think it's very cute and very youthful. I think maybe later as we play, maybe when we get to year two, we'll change her appearance again. I think that would be interesting. For shirt, after playing around with the options, I decided to go with shirt 20. Not only do I think it's cute, but I also like that it has what appears to be like this blue backpack on the back. And I think that's very cute. Like she's a new fresh farmer. She needs to carry her backpack around the valley to collect all of the items. And let's see, let's go ahead and do any of the accessories I didn't decide. We can give her this very happy, youthful face. Maybe she's very excited too start her farming adventure and let me go over to the eye color so my husband and i both have pretty dark brown eyes so let's give her something that looks pretty dark but like this i think looks good and for the hair color mm, well my husband of course being chinese has black hair my natural hair color is pretty dark, but not so black as his. So I think what we can do is maybe put this here, kind of a little unsaturated. My hair has no saturation really. Maybe put like this number and let's make it dark, dark, dark. 
so it's like mm, that's more like my real hair maybe about like this it's a little bit green though but about maybe about like this so not black but not super light of course um, for the color of the pants, I decided to not match the blue elements of the shirt, but rather choose something that looks about like this, like a dark maroon, because my favorite color is red. And I just thought it would be kind of cute to match these, the blue and white shirt in the backpack. So yeah, I think this is our character, Emmy, Emmy Wu, our farmer. And of course, because we are post version 1.1, we can choose what kind of farm we want. So we have the standard farm, a simple plot of land with a large amount of space to design your farm. Riverland farm. Your farm is spread across several islands and scenic riverbanks. Forest farm. The woods limit your farming space. However, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. Hilltop farm. Rocky terrain and a winding river make it difficult to design your farm. Wilderness farm. There's plenty of good land here, but beware. At night, the monsters come out. So, I'm not too interested in this standard farm. I think it's a little too big for me. I feel a little overwhelmed to try and fill the space. Um, the forest farm. I'm not like a big forest person. Hilltop farm is okay, but... All the mining stuff, I feel like there's enough of the mines. I don't really need it on the farm. And I don't want the wilderness farm. It's too scary to have the monsters at night. So I'm going to choose the Riverland farm for Emmy's farm because I actually really love water. And I think this is probably the only farming game we'll ever see where we can basically farm on the water. And also, I really like fish and fishing in these kind of games, so I think it's a good choice. And we won't skip the intro, and I think we're ready to start. Everything looks good. Here we go. Oh, I'm very excited to do this with you guys. Oh, we have an old man here. And for my very special granddaughter. Grandpa, you have a pirate sword on your fireplace. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Thanks, Grandpa. He kind of just like threw it from the bed. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. I have a lot of patience. Now listen close. What's that gold thing on his wall? There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. In other words, every day. No, it's okay. Everything's fine. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. That's a little scary, Grandpa. Uh, just a little bit scary. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. I mean, uh, I'll probably be ready for it tomorrow morning then. I like the little apple thing up there. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. I like how they kind of let you imagine. So this is the Joja Corporation. <laughs> Everybody's apparently working now. Now, you know, the funny thing is this kind of really looks similar to my actual office in real life. Um, I am an instructor at a university and our faculty room looks very, very similar to these cubicles. Oh, Emmy looks very sad. <laughs> and so does the man on the right who is now a skeleton. Some of these people look like some of my co-workers. Hmm. She seems to have remembered something. She's opening the drawer. And I, we are going to select the envelope. Dear Emmy Wu, If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. It's a wonderful story. I have enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Happy Wife Gaming Life Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. 
This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. So did, did she already know about the farm? P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure. No problem. But yeah, I'm really curious, like, was it like this big secret that Grandpa had this farm, or did she already know about it? Hmm, I guess we'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. Stardew Valley is very beautiful. But only half a mile left to go. Almost there. I wonder how long she had to ride the bus for. Little bird is cute. Alright, looks like we are arriving in Stardew Valley. Here we go. Alright, here we are. Hello, you must be Emmy Wu. And this is Robin. And now, for those of you who may be familiar with Stardew Valley, you'll notice that this portrait is not the original portrait. I did decide, because I am playing on the PC, that why not at least incorporate one mod? And while I like the original portraits, I just feel this new set I found really makes all the designs look uniform and really brightens the characters and brings them to life. Um, I'll link a, dis um, a link in the description box below for this mod if you're interested. I really like how this one makes Robin look very youthful but still mature. Alright, so let's see what she has to say. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Well, she's nice. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Yeah, actually, it is pretty close to the bus stop, isn't it? Alright, Emmy, let's check out your new farm. You got a, got a lot of grass growing there. This is Happy Wife Gaming Life Farm. Can you imagine if this was really the name of a farm? Probably she'd be like, what? what is wrong? Why is this name weird? Oh, she's so, so upset by the amount of grass and debris. What's the matter? <laughs> I like how Robin is just totally unfazed. Like, everything in Stardew Valley looks this like this. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. She's very optimistic. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And by no time, she means one year. And here we are, your new home. Yeah, the home is okay, actually, except for the hole on the porch. Surprise! <laughs> ah, the new farmer. Oh, Mary Lewis looks cute. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You must be Grandpa's friend. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Yeah. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Yeah, that's one word for it. This, yeah, country rustic style. Rustic, that's one way to put it. That's what I said. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Isn't crusty what you use to describe, like, old people? Rude. Maybe that's why he thinks it's rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Emmy. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, she looks okay, very guilty. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Must be a long bus ride. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that, but would they? Maybe they don't want some new person just banging on their door. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. You have so much free time in, at night, Mayor Lewis, you just come and rummage through the box? <laughs> Alright, sounds like it's morning already. Our progress has been saved. The spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm. Oh, okay. And you can see in the up the left corner there that I am using a controller on the PC. 
Anyway, here we are, our home. Very exciting. Emmy Woo. We have our skills, social. We have to meet all these fun people. We have our map. You can see our farm because it's the Riverlands farm is basically on a big lake. Looks very cool. And what else? We have our crafting recipes. Looks like we have some new signs from the 1.3 update. All the stuff we need to collect. Our options. Yeah. So because we started on the Riverland farm, our aesthetic here in the house looks a little bit different. We have portholes for windows, which is really cute. And we have an anchor hanging on the wall. And we have a little boat, which I would really love to have this little boat in real life. So I wonder if we can move anything around a little bit. Mm, I do have my cursor here. Let's see. No, I don't want to look at the weather report. Oh, that's that's not good. Mm, maybe I'll mess with that later. I know you can move the fireplace now, I heard. That's kind of cool. I'll mess with it later, though. Oh no, don't throw that away. That would be so bad if we just started episode one and threw away the axe. Can't cut down any trees. So let's check the weather report on TV. Kozu 5. A beautiful sunny day. Well, that's good. It would be terrible if it rained on the first day. The fortune teller. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Well, I think that's pretty fair when you're first starting out, right? living off the land welcome to living off the land we're back with another tip for y'all now listen up this one's for all you greenhorns out there chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest we will do that sir we will do that all right and it looks like we have a gift Ta -da! parsnip seeds you received 15 parsnip seeds here's a little something to get you started mayor lewis I mean, that's nice of him. He doesn't have to give you anything, I guess. He could just say, go buy it with your own money. So we have our journal here, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Now, let's just skip to the end. Use your hoe to till the soil. Then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. We will. We will do that. And introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer, and some people might not be. It doesn't say that, but you know, there are some people. So let's take a look outside. Here we are, our Riverlands farm. Now because we are the Riverlands farm, you will see that we immediately come in contact with a lot of water. I did kind of use the farm planning thingy to kind of decide later how we can arrange some of our buildings because we don't have a lot of space with this farm so we have to be careful where we put stuff but I think step one is we're gonna need to get these parsnips ready so I'm gonna clear a spot over in this corner here I think this is a good spot to start with crops I like to grow things in corners I don't know why I was an avid player of the Harvest Moon games for many years when I was young, so of course that's why I was interested in Stardew Valley. And I really like what the developer did with Stardew Valley. He really made some interesting changes to the dynamic. I mean, starting with something simple like parsnip seeds instead of, you know, the usual turnips. So we have 15 of them, so let's do, I guess, five rows of three, two... Three, four, five. Because he could have went for like the turnips, right? To be more familiar, but I really like that he chose to do the parsnips. It's interesting, right? I don't think any of the Harvest Moon games or Story of Seasons has used parsnips. So we'll get these planted here. Gotta re familiarize myself with the controls. Okay, and there we go. So let's get them watered now because we definitely need to get started on our first harvest. <laughs> Emmy looks so happy. She's just like, yeah, parsnips, watering. It's all great. It's better than working in Jojo. Okay, there we go. All quickly watered and it's already 1030. So I'm going to move this stone out of the way. I don't like it there. 
Actually, can we go ahead and cut down this tree? I really want my corner to be free here. My beginning crop corner. Just, oh, froggy. Perfect. Now, I guess let's take Mayor Lewis's advice and let's go see everybody. And maybe we can check out some of these new portraits from the portrait mod. Oop, and something to collect. We have daffodils. Daffodils, yes. We will sell them. Oh, and I almost ran by that leek. Leek's a very cool thing to have in the game. Do you like leeks? I like leeks. Alright, let's find some townspeople and introduce them to Miss Emmy Wu. Let's start with the clinic. Yeah, we'll meet the doctor first. Why not? I like to run around and make my introductions. Hi. Excuse me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Harvey looks, I think, mature. A little bit unkempt, you know, his hair is a little messy and he has a not so hip mustache, but he looks very nice. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. That's good. We need some medical professional here, don't we? Okay, and let's see. Oh, what's this here? Oh, it's our calendar, so we can see everybody's birthdays and our spring holidays. Egg festival and the flower dance and a lot of birthdays. We'll see if we can keep up with all of that. Help wanted. Nothing is posted today. Oh, wait, excuse me. Wait. Hi, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. You're an interesting character. That's it? Nothing else to say? Oh, well, hello. He left pretty quickly. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Well, Marnie looks very sweet. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Well, we will, Marnie. We will. Alright, let's open this door. No? There we go. I like having the controller. I feel the vibration every time we open. Hello. You look like you're our age. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, it is the Riverland farm, Abigail. How, how much exploring were you doing? Unless you were swimming. I really like that this mod adds the bow in her hair that we see on the sprite. I think it's very suitable for her. Oh, she just opened the door. Wait! Hello, you must be Emmy Wu, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. And I like this version of Caroline. She looks very mature but sweet. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Yeah, I, I guess I did. She's standing in the corner, but she didn't introduce herself with her name. Hi, excuse me. Are you shopping? Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Yes, but what is your name? I mean, I can read that it says Leah, but you didn't tell me. I also really like Leah's portrait. She looks mature. I keep saying that, but I really like the way this mod makes the characters look mature that are supposed to look mature, you know? She's also very gentle and pretty. I like the spring, too. Spring is my favorite season, Leah. Hi. Hey, it's Miss Emmy Wu, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. He looks a little young with this mod, actually. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. But Mayor Lewis said he would come get it out of the box in our farm. Why should I give it to you? Why? All right, let's leave here and continue on with our introductions. See how many people we can find in one day. Oh, hello. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Well, at least you told me your name. I appreciate that. I'll see you around. Okay, enjoy yourself, Alex. Hey, wait. Hi. Oh, did you want something? Uh, yes, to introduce myself. You seem to act like you already know me. I really like the way they did Penny's hairstyle with this mod, too. It's like you still get the outdated 1960s effect, but you can see more of it, which I think is good. I think it really matches her sprite. Carry on, Penny. Wait, an old lady. Come back. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. 
Or, or I can just call you Evelyn. That's fine, too. Okay, nice to meet you. And what about in here? Mm, he's alone. Maybe we'll come back later when there's more people. <laughs> Imagine so some new girl opens the bar door and then walks right back out. Okay, well... Let's see, maybe if we head down to the beach we can find some things to collect and some people? We have a mussel. That's good, we can sell that. And let's get this mussel. I plan to really spend the first year of our farm just getting everything settled and... Oh, what's this? Hmm, with 300 pieces of wood this could be fixed. We will fix that. And it's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Oh, okay. I guess we're not his friend. <laughs> but yeah, I plan to spend the first year getting all of our foundations made and just work on earning some money, unlocking some things. And then maybe in year two, we'll focus more on really detailed relationships with the characters. But I'll try to say hi to people when I can. This place is very noisy. Hello. I'll introduce myself to you. Uh, hi. I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. So does a normal small town have a blacksmith? That's a good question. Alright, let's see. What else? What else can we do? Hmm. We could just take a walk around the whole area of Stardew Valley. Just make a big circle today. Talk to whoever we can find. I think that's good. Oh, hello. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Hi, Maru. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. <laughs> I really like the way she talks. It can alter the community dynamic. Which is what exactly? What is the dynamic like right now, Maru? Abigail's hanging out there. And Joja Cola, fuel your life, Joja Mart. Isn't it ironic you leave the company and then there's just a big Joja Mart right in your face? We don't have to go there now. Well, let me see if I can remember. Yeah, let's go up from here. Let's work on making that circle. Oh, let's pick up this daffodil. We're gonna have a lot of daffodils to sell. I don't know if I should keep any of them. I think maybe we will need it for the mysterious community center. Can I break this rug? Oh, can I cut this? Yeah, I'm just like helping out with the town garden here, I guess. Can we put things here? I wonder what would be good to put there. Maybe some flowers later? I don't know. All right, let's make another loop around the town area here. Let's go up this way. This is the mountain. Anybody home? Yeah, this is Robin's house. Well, she already knows this, right? We don't need to talk to her again. All right, let's make a loop here. Walk across here. Hmm. Anything for us to collect? That's the question. Can we put anything in our nice little blue backpack? <laughs> I really like this face for the character, the big smiley face. Oh, we've come back to our farm. So we can just maybe cut our way through. I kind of want to just visit every area today. So I'm going to see if I can cut my way down the farm. You can see we're surrounded by water on all sides. Which is really cool for a farming game, I think. It's like my dream to live by this much water. Let me see with this farm if I can remember how to get out. Let's see, I think we can go this way. And I have to keep switching between my tools. We can go this way. Oh, some of that fell down in the water, didn't it? And we can do this. And this. And this. There we go. Made it out. Imagine there- I like just the idea of the Riverland farm in Stardew Valley. Just having like this- this big lake in the middle of the town. I think it's very cool. But maybe the townspeople would rather play in it instead of have a farm there. Maybe that's why Abigail was so sad. 
So I don't know. Oh, there's something over there for us. Something we can collect. And that is a... It's a surprise. Oh, my inventory is full. <laughs> I seem to think that I already have the giant backpack and that I can just pick up whatever I want. But I cannot. I already do not have enough stuff. Then I guess we'll go back. But we did take a walk around as I had hoped. Oh, is there anybody here we can see? Oh, close at six. But there's also a house here, right? So does it really need to close at six? Ah, then we will go home, I guess. Okay, so I think one of the first things I'd really want to make is a chest. Uh, and we need 50 pieces of wood for that. So maybe I can find 50 pieces of wood, perhaps? Oh, I keep losing it all on the water. That's one of the dangers of the Riverland farm, I guess. Let me see if we can get some wood. You know, I really like to collect a lot of stuff, so I hope, I hope that we can get the chest pretty quickly. Maybe it's possible. I don't know if my stamina can make it, but we will try. Emmy will try. She's, she's so happy to be here, you know? Okay, I think probably we can stay up until maybe 2 a.m. I think. I think it was. Oh, this grass. I need 50 pieces of wood for my chest. Okay, let me see. I think we can do it. I think, I think I can. I think I can. Break that. Open this. Oh, just three more pieces. I gotta find some. Over here, over here. Almost there. Almost, Emmy. You can do it, you can do it. Yes, 50 pieces. So let's go ahead and craft our first item, which is gonna be that chest. I really want the chest. So, craft. <laughs> wood sign. What do we do with the wood sign? We can make the campfire, but I don't need that right now. But I do need this chest. So yes, we crafted our first item, the chest. Let's put that here. And we should be able to change the color. Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe just green for now? I think green is a good color. And let's put... I think let's save one daffodil because I think we're going to need it later. I'll put all the fiber there except for one. I just want to ship the fiber just to say that I shipped it. I don't know. I kind of want to make sure I ship one of every item at least once. I don't know if we can do that. So because of that, I'm going to put the rocks in. I'm going to take one rock to ship. We have mixed seeds. I'm going to put them away for now. I don't know if I want to plant those. I forget what they are. And for now, let me put the leek away because we're going to need the leek also. And I think we need one of the mussels. So I think that's good. Yeah, see, we have a nice chest already. And let's ship this, these daffodils, this fiber, this stone, and this mussel. And where's the journal? Let's see, how many people did we meet today? Half. That's not bad, not bad at all. So I think it's about time for Miss Emmy to get to bed, spend her second night here on the farm. I really like how dark this game gets at night. I feel it's like a really realistic feeling. Makes you not want to be out for too long. Oh, but it's very dark in here, I found. I could light the fireplace, but it's spring. It's too, too warm for that, I think. So I think let's go to bed. See how we did on our first day. How much money did we make? 153 G, all for us. How great, we did it all on our own. I'm so happy about that. And let's move on to day two of spring. So if that was day one of spring and the character already went to sleep, does that mean we arrived in like win the end of winter? But, hmm, it wasn't snowing. Anyway, let's take a peek here. Weather report? Rain all day tomorrow. Wow, we just started and it's gonna rain. Can you believe that? And we have the fortune teller. Spirits are in good humor today. I think I have a little extra luck. Well, we need a little extra luck. We just started. 
So I'm taking a peek here at the farm. Our little green chest is there. And let's see. We have some mail. I want to take a peek at it. Oh, it's an advertisement. We can take a look at that later. So I think this is going to be a good time to start episode one because it has all of the introduction stuff. We went through our first day, we met some of the characters, and on episode two we'll just continue with our new life here in Stardew Valley on Happy Wife Gaming Life. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to speak with you again on the next episode. Bye bye!